Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David and I see this all the time on our Twitter and all the social media. You guys are biased. East Coast biased. You know what? You keep watching these Pac-12 teams, you're going to have some West Coast bias. A wide open offensive league, great innovation. Defenses are tough and athletic as well. We are expecting a tremendous matchup in the Pac-12 in this one. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24. The Bruins know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. It looks like they're going to blitz. Black five, black five. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 47. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Watch 22, watch 22. Check 13. Check Break 13. Two. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of six on the ball. Third down. From the 44-yard line. Third down. Check three, check three. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at the 23. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. 
Looking for the corner. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's taken down at the 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 14. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. And he's out of bounds at the 46. And that one's gonna drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid is so dangerous. Brad, you're exactly right. The defense has to be sitting there asking themselves, how are we gonna stop this guy? First and ten following that big run. They give to the tailback. Nice run to the outside. Colorado's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Number 89 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Throws it, and it's tipped away. They know what to expect on third down, and we're right in place to break up the pass. Try to change the field position with this kick. There's a punt, and it's a line drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He makes his way to about the 28. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. Shows a lot of maturity for a freshman corner to sniff out the run and make that tackle. Second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Halfback screen, incomplete. Bring 
It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He dropped it. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And, Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. First down. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From their own 26 yard line, second down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. They'll work the left side with a counter play. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Six-yard line. He chucks it downfield. Intercepted off the tip. And he tackles him hard at the seven. Intercepted off the tip. What a great play by the D. Way to locate the ball and come up with the pick. That is a great play right there. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. First and ten. Ball on the seventh. to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. Colorado, up six. And he adds the extra point.
Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. UCLA's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. around the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. For the first down. Great concentration to pull it in. We've got a first and ten. Ball in 34. the middle for a nice game. That's a deep seven. That'll make it second and four. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. And two. And yellow. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. In your face. Check 50. Check 50. Yeah. The cavalry's coming. The Buffaloes taking their first time out of the half. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. UCLA gets set to kick this one away. Across the 30. He's taken down. The 37 yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games that you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Colorado holds a four-point lead. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. First down.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's in trouble. And he's tackled in the open field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Quick strike to the back, no good. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll get two on that one. Was it a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Colorado is up four. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just whip kick this one. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop at the 34. A great first half comes to a close. 10-3, Colorado. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Colorado up seven points. Run left side. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From their own 28-yard line. Second down.
taken down at about the 45. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. That's a game of 20 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's on the run. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Let's go, let's go. Colorado is up by a touchdown. Run, run, run. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Need to get it to the 25. From the 18 yard line, it's second down. From the 10 yard line. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Colorado is up a score. He scrambles. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 
17-3. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and now the ball is loose. Scoops up the loose ball. Colorado clicking on offense right now, Kirk. A whole different story from the first half. Yeah, I think they've made a few tweaks to their game plan, and I think it's helped them out. The quarterback seems to be making better decisions, and right now they can't be stopped. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. From the 16-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 14-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 24-3. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Buffaloes have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Throwing right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. five-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Black five, black six. Here comes the pressure. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line.
from the 34-yard line. It's first down. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Fumble. It's recovered. And down he goes at the 26. the 26 yard line first down and he throws it away you know, when you feel pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds To that quickly. He's hit and taken down. This was the tackle at the 26 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Check three, check three. The senior makes the catch. He's taken down at the 23, a pickup of about three. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. He's under pressure. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 29. strike to the receiver and they make the stop at the 43 and a nice pick up there i'll tell you what the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man first and ten ball on their own 43 He's scrambling. Here they come, and they get the sack. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. From the 45 yard line. First down. It's picked off. Oh, 
The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. It's first down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. Just under two minutes in the game. Going deep, lays it out there. Almost picked off. will make him the school's all-time single-season leader. This guy's been a destroyer all year long getting into the backfield, and I'm sure he's happy to have this new record. Interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Quick throw to the tight end. They get in. Touchdown. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. this one deep the Bruins thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it neither worked out there. yeah I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence what they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today and today they just got completely shut down the last drive not only failed to produce points but it cost them two. defenses get a big boost when they can score safety so expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession too makes it to the 34 ucla will take their first time out of the half the offensive line got a really good push there allowing the back to pick up nine on the play it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker He's taken down at the 32. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. Under a minute left. Check 99. And he snags that one. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 34 yard line feeds it to the back tackle outside after a nice pickup Four. Go. Oh. 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 Runs 
Hands outside for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 21. They'll bring him down right around the 12 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mercifully, this one is over. Colorado, 33. UCLA, 3. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.